the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord. For wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. As we continue to celebrate with great joy the resurrection from the dead of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us begin this Mass by calling to mind our sins and asking for the Lord's forgiveness and his pardon and his peace. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. In fact, no, let's say the Gloria. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement towards them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this, and why do you look so intently at us? as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your fathers and leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfilment what he announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you, from among your own kin. To him you will listen in all that we may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, you are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors. When he said to Abraham, in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. 
For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, o Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honour. You have made him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, o Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims in the paths of the sea. O Lord, o Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me and the law of Moses and in the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In faith, hope and love, let us pray to the Lord. We give thanks with Easter joy for the resurrection of Christ. And we ask that God will give renewed joy and zeal to all Christians as they proclaim the gospel of Jesus. We pray for all Christian communities who find it difficult to proclaim their faith in the risen Lord. For Christians who are persecuted for their faith. And we pray particularly at this time for the many Christian communities in the Holy Land. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, we pray for the world in which we live. We pray for an end to warfare and violence. That the whole human family might live in peace equity and stability. We continue to pray for the situation in Ukraine. We hold before the Lord all areas of the world affected by natural disaster. We pray for those who are impoverished and marginalised in our own country and especially for the homeless of this city. We pray that we might be given the grace to see in them the face and image of Christ. Lord, hear us. We pray for this parish community and we give thanks for the generosity and support of the Friends of All Saints, Margaret Street. We pray today particularly for Gwyneth Sook, Richard and Louise Stolwood, Ian Stewart, Jason Stewart, Ian and Veronica Summers, 
Colin Sines and Anne Tatchy. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick or in any particular need, for those in hospital, for the housebound and lonely. And amongst known to the, those known to this parish community, we pray for Martin Burker, David Craig, Roger Dilks, Father Harry Hodgetts, Leslie Lee, Wendy Leach, Elizabeth Lyon, Frank Otwell, James Roger, and Bruce Ross Smith. We pray that the Lord will be their help and their guide. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have died in the faith of Christ, and amongst the recently departed, we pray particularly for the soul of James Ford. We pray too for those whose anniversaries of death fall around this time and particularly today, praying for the soul of Margaret Roche. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord. And let thy perpetual shine upon them. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious Let us ask Our Lady to join her prayers with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Jonathan, our bishop, Sarah, bishop of London, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.